the RTX 5070 Ti just had some performance leaks and pricing leaks. Is this the GPU to buy this generation? Let's get into it. The RTX 5070 Ti is the third Blackwell GPU to be released this year, and Jensen said the price is $749. But the big question is, will this GPU perform as good or better than the RTX 4080? Let's start by looking at the specs, like we did with the 5080, to gain a little insight. Here is the chart showing the most important parameters to review and compare. Watch my 5080 video for an explanation on why. I have the 5070 Ti, the 4070 Ti Super, and the 4070 Ti on the chart. Let's start with the comparison with the 4070 Ti. For the increase in shaders, we see almost a 17% increase. For the boost clock, we see a decrease of over 6%, but the memory bandwidth increases a massive 77%, and the power increases 15 watts or 5%. Putting it all together, and you see only the memory bandwidth has a significant increase from two years ago, and that is attributed to the switch to GDDR7 memory. When Jensen announced the Blackwell GPUs at CES on January 6th, the charts released on their website showed Far Cry 6, and when I counted the pixels, I counted a 33% increase. Then on January 15th, NVIDIA released a new chart that removed Far Cry 6 and replaced it with Resident Evil 4. When I counted those pixels, it was only an 18% increase. If we put that together with the spec improvements, we can see the 33% sticks out and is very unlikely. If we plot an 18% better than a 4070 Ti, that places it better than a 3090 Ti and short of the 4080. Now, the performance leak we got was in Blender, where the 5070 Ti is 21% faster than a 4070 Ti. So it looks like the generational improvement in the 5070 Ti will be better than what we saw with the 5080, and that's the good news. The bad news comes from the pricing, where Micro Center has already posted their prices for the 5070 Ti. Micro Center is showing only one GPU at $750.00. Micro Center never lists prices in whole dollar amounts. If they were really going to sell this GPU, they would list it for $749.99. But the other key point to note is that it is already showing as sold out. You're not going to see this GPU available. The very next GPU starts at $900 and they go up to over $1,000. So you are getting a GPU more than a year later that is $100 less than the 4080 Super and it still does not even match the performance of a 4080. That is so disappointing. This Blackwell generation is not moving the performance to price ratio at all. In other words, the FPS per dollar does not improve this generation. And that makes Blackwell DOA to anyone who has a GPU that can still get the job done. After seeing the fake prices of the 5090, the fake prices of the 5080, and now it looks like the fake prices of the 5070 Ti, it becomes very apparent why AMD delayed the launch. This was all due to the fake pricing. Will AMD actually compete to gain market share to get to 40% like Jack said last fall? Or will AMD just slot right into NVIDIA's pricing structure? Let's see if AMD delivers another massive disappointment or if they are really going to go after market share like they said and deliver great prices to do that. Let me know what you think AMD will do in the comments below. Like it if you learned something. Consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you all so very much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.